when do you think we, you and we as humanity, will build AGI? I used to love to speculate on that question. I have realized since that I think it's like very poorly formed and that people use extremely definition, different definitions for what AGI is. Uh, and, and so I think it makes more sense to talk about when we'll build systems that can do capability X or Y or Z rather than, you know, when we kind of like fuzzily cross this one mile marker. It's not like, like AGI is also not an ending. It's much more of a, it's closer to a beginning, but it's much more of a mile marker than either of those things. And, but what I would say in the interest of not trying to dodge a question is I expect that by the end of this decade and possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. If we could look at it now, you know, maybe we've adjusted by the time we get there. Yeah, but you know, if you look at Chad GPT, even three five, and you show that to Alan Turing, or not even Alan Turing, people in the nineties, they would be like, "This is definitely AGI." Well, not definitely, but there's a lot of experts that would say this is AGI. Yeah, but I don't think Chat. I don't think three five changed the world. It maybe changed the world's expectations for the future, and that's actually really important. And it did kind of like get more people to take this seriously and put us on this new trajectory. And that's really important too. So again, I don't want to undersell it. I think it like I could retire after that accomplishment and be pretty happy with my career. But as an artifact, I don't think we're going to look back at that and say hmm. that was a threshold uh, that really changed the world itself. So to you, you're looking for some really major transition in how the world... For me, that's part of what AGI implies. Like singularity level transition? No, definitely not. But just a major, like the internet being like a, like Google Search did, I guess. Uh, what, what was the transition point? That like, does happen? the global economy feel any different to you now or materially different to you now than it did before uh, we launched GPT-4? I, would, I think you would say no. No, no. It might be just a really nice tool for a lot of people to use. It will help you with a lot of stuff, but doesn't feel different. And you're saying that... I mean, again, people define AGI all sorts of different ways, so maybe you have a different definition than I do. But for me, I think that should be part of it. There could be major theatrical moments also. What, what to you would be an impressive thing that AGI would do? Like you are alone in a room with the system. This is personally important to me. I don't know if this is the right definition. I think when a system can significantly increase the rate of scientific discovery in the world, that's like a huge deal. I believe that most real economic growth comes from scientific and technological progress. I agree with you. That's why I don't like the skepticism about science in the recent years. Totally. But actual rate, like measurable rate of scientific discovery. But even just seeing a system have really novel intuitions, like scientific intuitions, even that would be just incredible. Yeah. You are quite possibly would be the person to build the AGI to be able to interact with it before anyone else does. What kind of stuff would you talk about? I mean, definitely the researchers here will do that before I do. So, sure. like, uh, but what will I, I've, I've actually thought a lot about this question. If I were someone with like, I think this is, a, as we talked about earlier, I think this is a bad framework, but if someone were like, okay, Sam, we're finished. Here's a laptop. <laughs> yeah. This is the AGI. Uh, you know, you can you can go talk to it. Uh, I find it surprisingly difficult to say what I would ask, that I would expect that first AGI to be able to answer. Um, like that first one is not going to be the one which is like, go like, you know, I don't think. Like go explain to me like the, grand unified theory of physics, the theory of everything for physics. I'd love to ask that question. I'd love to know the answer to that question. You can ask yes and no questions about does such a theory exist? Can it exist? Well, then those are the first questions I would ask. Yes and no, just very. And then based on that, are there other alien civilizations out there? Yes or no? What's your intuition? And then you just ask that. Yeah, I mean, if, well, so I don't expect that this first AGI could answer any of those questions, even as yes or no's. But those would, if, if it could, those would be very high on my list. Maybe you can start assigning probabilities. Maybe. Maybe we need to go 
invent more technology and measure more things first. But if it's an AGI, oh, I see. It just doesn't have enough data. I so mean, maybe the, it the says capable. like, you know, you want to know the answer to this question about physics. I need you to like build this machine and <laughs> tell, make yeah. these five measurements and tell me that. Yeah, like, <laughs> what the hell do you want from me? I need the machine first and I'll help you deal with the data from that machine. Maybe it'll help me build the machine. Maybe, maybe. And on the mathematical side, maybe prove some things. Are you interested in that side of things too? The formalized exploration of mm -hmm. ideas? 